So welcome back. Here begins our journey to data modeler. You may be zero here. You can become hero tomorrow. In this session, I am focusing on data modeler. Okay. I will focus on data model in the next session. So who is a data modeler? A data modeler is a person who models data. See, look at this person. He is looking at the screen and watching the model he has just created. Again, let me zoom it. So this is a data model. Again, this is a technical specification of a business need, isn't it? So a data modeler is a person who models data or documents software and business system design. By doing this, a data modeler translates business needs into technical specification. So this is a technical specification of some business need. We don't know that. But yes, this is a technical specification. You know, in our organization, we have customers, we have stakeholders, and we have some developers. This model, once you create this model and we share this model with our customers and stakeholders, and we together come to a consensus about the technical specification. So data models promote consensus among developers, customers, and other stakeholders. Besides, it identifies business needs, creates, maintains data models, defines and governs data modeling and design standard, makes recommendations for standardization and proper data usage. Means, data modeler identifies business needs, creates and maintains data models, defines and governs data modeling and design standards, makes recommendation for standardization and proper data usage. So that is as an introduction to data modeler. Next time I'm going to show you some of the definitions. Okay. So a professional that document data storing processing in addition to working closely with business managers and staff to create functional model. Keith D. Food, he has defined data modeler as a professional that document data storing and processing in addition to working closely with business managers and staff to create functional models. Then, according to Tech Republic, you can see a person who works with the data, prepares data, and develops data organizational scheme that use database and data maps. Again, one who maps complex software system design to easily understood diagrams using symbols and text to represent proper data flows. So, we have seen three definitions. The first is a professional that document data storing and processing in addition to working closely with the business managers and staff to create functional models. The second, a person who works with the data, prepares data and develops data organizational schemes that use database and data models. And third one is a person, one who maps complex software system designs to easily understood diagrams using symbols and text to represent proper data flows. Got it? Biju, yes. I understand the definition, but I don't understand anything. Can you explain in simple fashion so that I understand the responsibility of a data modeler? Sure, let's move to. Here, let me show you with an example of a job description from an organization. What are those, the responsibilities for a data modeler? Suppose you are a data modeler. You are getting a requirement like this. Create conceptual, logical, physical models for EDW staging, data integration, analytics, and reporting. 
as an analyst, you may not do this. But if you expertise, if you have expertise in creating models that to conceptual, logical, and physical, okay, you can do this, right? So, one of the responsibility of a data modeler is to create conceptual, logical, and physical model. Then, second, leading creation of enterprise view of data. So, creation of the enterprise view of the data. You may, in the enterprise, you will have multiple systems. Okay, you need to have an enterprise view of the data. Then, leading model management and version control of data models. Again, you know, a model. In organization, you will have hundreds, thousands of data models. And leading the model management and version control of data models is another prime responsibility of a data modeler. Facilitate creation, migration of data objects, DDL objects, data definition language across development, quality assurance, then production environment. You know, that is another very, very important. You know, any organization, when you have development, you can see that there is a development environment, quality QA area, then UAT area, production area. So, creation and migration of data objects from one environment to other environment to production is a duty of a data modeler. Very, very important is reverse engineering, source system structure of EDW, sourcing and landing. You know, what is reverse engineering? You know, engineering. So, reverse engineering is building a data model from an existing database. It could be a warehouse. It could be an application database. So, bringing or building such data model from an existing database database is called reverse engineering because you know going in each uh, uh, database schemas tables is quite difficult so in order to export that into a data model you know some of the modeling tools support reverse engineering that's another another responsibility of a data modeler another one is maintain repository and exchange of metadata using edw based tools like Teradata, Informatica, Cognos. Then establish standards, guidelines, and best practices around data modeling initiative. You know, every organization will have a number of data modeling initiative. So the data modeler will establish standards, guidelines, and best practices. Then coming, publish and communicate models to IT and user themes. And already we mentioned that, no? So, it helps consensus among stakeholders, customers, and developers, and other teams. So, to do that, you have to publish and communicate models. Develop data movement requirement technical specification across EDW layers. Already mentioned that, you know, from, from these environment layers, the data movement requirement and technical specification has to be developed by this data modeler. Then finally, create and optimize data structure for reporting and data integration. So these are some of the key responsibility of a data modeler. So you also should have very good understanding about databases like SQL, Oracle, or similar databases. Hope you got the responsibility of or the job uh, roles, uh, job task that every data modeler may execute in his day to day. Then coming to the qualification part of it, now that's very important, right? First of all, experience with FI standard data models such as Teradata, FSLDM, IEFX. Then Experience consolidating multiple data models to an industry data model. A data modeler is not handling just a single model. No. He has to handle multiple models and cons consolidate that to an industry data model. Then strong background in data warehousing and business intelligence environment working with large data sets. 
Of course, we can gather this experience only with only with uh, years of working. But of course, we can start doing data modeling as a junior. But the most important thing is that you are understanding there is a job role as data modeler in data and analytics, right? Then facilitate requirements and modeling sessions including user interviews, document analysis and workshops. So whichever opportunity you get to do interviews or depth and analysis or workshops, take it up. Then ensure strategy of data conversion is consistent with defined controls and procedures established data standards. So you need to ensure that. Then finally, contribute with the DBAs to creation physical data based design. You know, some of the modeling tool supports creation of physical from logical data model. So this particular data model should have the experience in contributing to DBS in creating physical database designs. So these are some of the responsibilities and qualifications of a data modeler. So in the next session, we are going to focus on data model.